Welcome to Crafting at Home with the OC Public Libraries. Today we're going to be making an origami crane. For this craft, all we're going to need is a square piece of paper. So we're going to start by making a preliminary base. So first, it's corner to corner. And then line it up as best you can. There we go. Next, open it up and do the opposite corners. Again, line it up as best you can and crease. Okay, and now we're going to flip it over. And now we're going to fold along the edges. So, first edges. There we go. And crease. And then open it up and do the opposite side. Okay, so this is a tricky part. We're going to bring the corners down to one corner. So just kind of squeeze from the edges, bring down, and fold. So I'm going to open it up. We're going to do this again, just so you can see. And just bring everything down to the bottom corner. So now we're going to be making a bird base. So we're going to bring this bottom edge down to the center, like so. And now same with the other side. There we go. And now we're going to bring the top down, so along that edge of the paper. Perfect. Open it up a bit, flip it over, and same thing on the other two sides. Try to adjust to make sure it is close to center as possible. And now the top. Okay, and then this part gets a little tricky. We're going to open it all the way up. We're going to bring only the top layer up. You're going to hold along that fold, and then you're going to bring it up. And this is what is known as a squash fold. There we go. So you just try to fix and reline everything up. And again on the back, I'll show you from a different angle. So again, only the top layer, bring it back, and then squish along the lines you created, just as needed. There we go, and we have our bird base. So now let's get started on our crane. Okay, so it flaps at the bottom, and you're gonna open the side reveal a triangle. So I want this triangle to be shown. And then open, no triangle. And then go to the next flap, and there's another triangle. So we want the triangle visible on both sides. Now we're going to bring the flaps down. And you want to line them up. There we go. Lined up the edges, and then same on the other side. And there we go. Okay. So now, we're going to bring up one wing, and then same on the other side. Now for the head, we're going to open it and then squish it down. And then you can pull up the head up so it looks a little more like a crane. Now we're going to bring the wings down, but we're going to bring them forward, like so. Kind of want to line it up with the edge, and then the same on the other side. And now you have your flapping crane. So now you gotta grab from the chest and the base of the tail, and it flaps. If you're not a fan of the origami crane, you can use that same base to make a dragon. It'll flap just like the crane. Okay, so let's get started. So what you're going to need is you're going to get back to that bird base. 
but this time, instead of opening up to the triangles, we're gonna leave it like this. You're gonna fold up, you're gonna try to line it up at the edge, then you open it, and you fold up. So another kind of like squash fold, you try to line it up. There we go, and now we're gonna do the same to the other side, fold up, open, bring up, and align. Kind of want it about the same as the other side, so oh, there we go, let's adjust that. There we go. Now we're gonna do the same thing with the head. Bring it down. Bring it a little bit lower this time, but you're also gonna bring it back up to kind of give like horns or an ear look and a bit flatter of a face. So we got the little horn. And now the tail. So the tail you can do in multiple ways, but we're gonna use that same technique. We're just gonna bring it down, and then we can bring it up. And you can make it different depending on how you like. You don't have to do it as many times. You can do it more times. There we go. Actually, let's, there we go. Thin it out. And now we're gonna thin out the neck. So we're gonna open it, and then you're going to bring the edge and fold it into the center, just like that, and the same on the other side. Okay. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to fold down the wings like the crane. We'll do a little bit more with the wings in a bit. And then the same to the other side. Try to line them up. There we go. And just make sure everything's folded. And now we gotta take care of that back. So we're gonna fold it one way, tuck it in under the wings. There we go. And then the same to the other side. In. So for me, this is the more difficult part. I've seen it done a few different ways. So now, open. And you kind of want to like open it and squish it down. So we're trying to flatten that a bit. So you can kind of like pull it and squish it. And it just takes a little bit of convincing to get it to do what you want it to do. A little difficult, but not impossible. There we go, now it's starting to come in. And then we just kind of want it to fold in, so sometimes you need to stretch it a bit more. Just kind of give them a flatter back. Kind of like that. There we go. And now back to the wings. So, we want to bring them back up. So it'll flap, just like the crane, but we're gonna give it a little bit more detail. So you're gonna fold it the opposite direction, and then we're gonna match it on the back. And then again down, and then again match it. And we're just gonna go, and you could do this as many times as you like, just to give a bit more detail. stand we're going to fold the bottom part a little and back to the other side on the other one and this should help it stand on the table there you go you have your dragon hope you had fun and we'll see you next time on the next crafting video bye <laughs>